kind of kept you all stride. What were you seeing in you know, your approaches as well? Often? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any tricks with, you know, knowing who he is. We've, we've seen him enough. We see him just, you know, a couple of series ago, we just weren't able to, thought we chased a lot of balls down, a lot of, a lot of easy outs. And, uh, you know, obviously that these guys know it, so the movement was probably good today. It seemed like Maven in the first inning had a change. You know, they gave that a pretty good ride, and you had a couple of guys on to change the game early. Yeah, I really could have. And um, it was one of those balls you, you thought he got it good. We had a couple of guys on. The next inning, they come back out and score, and, you know, it goes from possibly having a, a couple run lead to, to your down and run. So that, that, it was a little bit of a, a swing there. That would have been a nice one to drop. What do you see from Jose? Oh, Jose. Oh, I mean, I thought he was, he was okay. You know, we give up three runs today. Um, just up the one early. The You know, the two-run homer to Haas. He got 3-2. He's got an account where he's he's going to be on the attack. And, and you know, a pretty good fastball hitter. Clay threw a ball up. It's a ball good up. So. Yeah, you just mentioned you, this is a guy you're not unfamiliar with or anything, and you did make contact. Is it frustrating as manager when you've seen somebody and you don't see any kind of the results from well, that knowledge? No, it's it's always interesting. I shouldn't I shouldn't say it's always frustrating when you don't you know try to you don't put runs up. Not the guys aren't trying to put runs up. Uh, it's always interesting to see guys back to back because you see like their kid the first day made some adjustments on, so a lot more balls in. Uh, so there are adjustments that get made one way or the other, right? If you if you get to him, then he's going to change a little bit. If he's getting you out, probably may go try to get you up similar, but he's going to try to get there through a different little road. And it's, so it's always interesting to me that back and forth when you you see a guy the second time in a pretty short period of time. And as much as he was he was dealing, and Mickey gets that hit. Yeah, I mean, our guys kept us in it, right? We we get the the bullpen comes in, does a nice job. Uh, Eliezer are there, Tehran, a, a couple of good innings. It's good to see him uh, out there and sharp. So we we get some chances, like you said, we get a couple hits there. You you hoping to you know kind of open the floodgates a little bit. Uh, D hit his ball good, you know. I thought he hit that ball, squared that ball up, but. You know, obviously, it, it wasn't enough. Just that with Eliezer's pickoff, is that something you're noticing as well, that he's <coughs> the runners not paying attention, <coughs> kind of straining a little bit off the base there? You know what's nice about Eliezer is for a young kid, he pays attention. And he gets everything that's going on on the field. There's a lot of little stuff that happens on the field. And, you know, over the years, you have a lot of guys that you just can't do that with. And because they... They can't, they can't think like that, and uh, so it's it's interesting to watch him because he's he's a sharp kid. Uh, obviously, he's a rule five and every, everything else, but he pays attention. So you can do some things with him that can really help him out and help he can help himself out because he's paying attention. So uh, Mickey's been really good with that. Uh, I think it's a great play because the guys aren't used to it. You know, guys aren't used to you throwing over there, and you could tell. We tell guys that. Hey, this guy's got a good pickoff move at first, and they get picked off. And it's not just us; it happens everywhere. So they may know you have it, but they, as soon as they let their guard down over there, you got a shot at them. Yeah, I mean, still, like you say, it's a big moment in the game. Yet you guys are executing it. You know, you did it last week in St. Louis, and now you know just to, to call it and execute it. It is nice when you can execute. And again, this, this is a guy that you know. It's just nice to see that quality of being able to think out there. You know, because it is part of it. I mean, you you, you know we're, we're we're trying to build something here, but you have to be able to think. Because think how much bigger the moments are going to be when we're when we're there, and it's going to be crazy, and it's going to be loud, and we're going to be somewhere, and it's the sixth game or something. And if you can do stuff like that and be able to think like that, what an advantage! What'd you think of the softball game? I only seen a little bit of it, but it looked pretty good. You know. It looked pretty good. I see some boys still picking it out there short. So, uh, and Juan P going deep. Was he the MVP? Yeah. Uh, went deep. Uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah, he was making the plays. He went deep too, didn't he? No, it was good. <laughs> Guys look good. The ball boy made a pretty good play down there on the It was nice. Pitch. First pitch too. 
That was nice. You had two guys side by side, and neither one of them threw the ball anywhere different than the right at the glove. What do you mean to the uh, players on the team to have all those guys around this weekend? Um, I mean, you have to talk to guys. Uh, I think it's it's great because it it ties us, you know, the, the history with the, with the new guys. It's you don't always get a chance to really talk with with those guys that much as a player because you got your routines, you're getting ready to play. Uh, but it's definitely a good thing. You know, again, I think it's. It's something good to have those guys back. A lot of those guys live in this area. Uh, they should be around. You'd love them around all the time. You know, those guys should feel comfortable here. It's, you know, it's kind of their house. So uh, I think it's great.